one here. Oh, I've seen they sent me a pencil. Oh, this is nice. So they sent me a little pencil. I was not expecting this. This is Lighthouse Hoya. You can see right there, Lighthouse Hoya. It's a nice pencil. So that's really cool. I'm gonna put this here for now. There you go. guys thank you for watching Gusted Plants and today I'm actually recording with my phone because my camera um, was dead and I was not expecting the package to arrive today but it did and so this is from Lighthouse Hoya I follow them on Instagram and they also sell Hoyas on eBay but they also do um, random you know purchase or like random Hoya sales on their Instagram page so I'll leave their Instagram and I'll leave their um, eBay shop down in the description box but um, this is the second time that I purchased from Lighthouse Hoya it's a husband and wife um, duo where they sell, you know, all kinds of plants. 100% they're Hoyas. I think they only sell Hoyas, which is right up my alley. And so here it is, um, Lighthouse Hoyas. Let's just go ahead and unbox these. Now, the first time I purchased from them, I purchased the um, Inner Variegated Hoya Carrier, which I don't no longer have. I actually killed it. And so, um, but I was really impressed with their packaging and the plant was very healthy. It was just that I killed it. So let's just go ahead and see what this is. If you guys have never heard of Lighthouse Hoya, this is a good idea. This is a good time to go ahead and follow them because they do, I believe they sell random Hoyas every Thursday or every, um, every so far and so then, so. So this time around, I got two Hoyas from them. Um, I already seen them. They sent me pictures of how the Hoya looks. Um, how they works is that they post up like a, they, they post on Instagram like five different Hoyas. And uh, the Hoyas they show on Instagram are the actual Hoyas that you're gonna be purchasing so you know exactly what you're gonna get. Um, this time around, um, I saw two and I liked both of them. And so here they are. Now they're not in no way huge Hoyas, they're actually uh, on the smaller side, but um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do well. They have one of the best packaging because they do um, like shredded paper and I feel like the shredded paper really compacts the plants together instead of them moving around in the box in transit. Um, I feel like the soil remains in place and the plants don't really get um, as damaged because there's not much wobbling due to the use of the paper, which I feel that's great. Here is a little card that they sent. And let me show you guys how they look. Rick, Scotty, and the wife. There you go, husband and wife. Okay. They also sent me their business card. There you go. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm already kind of seeing one right here. You guys can see right there. So let's go ahead and take it out. And here it is. Let me get the box out of the way. Uh, all right, guys, so here it is. Let me clean this up because it is a little bit messy. But this one here is Hoya Laos. Hoya Laos. Let me clean it up a little bit. God, tell me, guys, the heat in California is insane. I'm like sweating bullets. But here is Hoya Laos, a little baby, little Hoya. I knew it wasn't gonna be the, that big, but look at this. Um, and let me show you guys the name tag so you guys can take a look. So it says Lighthouse Hoya Nursery, and then this is the name of the Hoya, Hoya Species Laos, here in the back as well. But um, so let's take a look at this Hoya and see how it looks. Beautiful leaves as always, guys. Look at the leaves, they're just beautiful, nice leaves, very thick. They kind of remind me of like Hoya Meliflua in a sense. Super nice leaves. See they're glossy. Nice vines coming out. Um, super happy. I wanted to have this Hoya. I've seen a lot of people have this Hoya and it being a fast grower, which is why I wanted it. So now I have it and I'm very excited, very happy. It also has a little leaf coming out right there. So I'm very happy with this one. This is gonna go right into my greenhouse right away and see if it's gonna be a nice grower like others have mentioned so yeah i said it 
All right, guys, and so we have the final one here. Oh, I've seen they sent me a pencil. Oh, this is nice. So they sent me a little pencil. I was not expecting this. This is Lighthouse Hoya. You can see right there, Lighthouse Hoya. It's a nice pencil. So that's really cool. I'm put this here for now. There you go. And so here is the Hoya. This one here, it's a hybrid between Hoya Matoski, which I already have, and Hoya Hoya Fungii. Hoya Biola and I believe Hoya Carnosa. So it's a mixture of like a lot of different Hoyas. So let's see. It's called Hoya Ligia. Hoya Ligia. Oh no. Okay, um, well, taking it out, I cut a leaf off. But let me just clean it up and I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, and so here is Hoya Ligia. It's very little, and I knew it was gonna be little, so it's, you know, I was okay with that. Here it is, let me do a little closer look so you guys can take a look. So you can see it kind of resembles Hoya Carnosa, but it also has the texture and like the veining and the little splashes of like a Hoya um, fungi eye, kind of like a, just like a basic Hoya, but uh, apparently this is also a fast grower, and I'm very happy with this one. So yeah, this is one again, is Hoya, Lighthouse Hoya, that's the nursery. And the name of the Hoya is Hoya Ligia, if you guys could see right there. Um, now the medium that it comes in, I'm not a fan of. Um, it comes like in regular soil, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna mix it up with my own kind of soil to have the plant be healthier maybe. Um, but anyways, the plant seems to be doing good. It seems to be fine. It doesn't seem to have any pests. Um, the little leaves are coming out very nicely. So I might just plop this in my greenhouse and see how that works. But um, yeah, so far I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm pretty happy. I got a little pencil going on right here. So that's very cool. And yeah, Lighthouse Hoya. Like I said, they sell on eBay. They also sell on their um, Instagram page. So you can go ahead and give them a follow. I'll leave their information on the description box. But now before I end the video, let's go ahead and give an overall overview of what I thought of my purchase and what I think of um, Lighthouse Hoya. I guess so here are my two Hoyas that I picked up today. And now my overall overview on um, ordering plants from Lighthouse Hoya. Have you ordered from them? Um, should I recommend you guys to? Um, based on my experience, the two times I've ordered from them, my plants have arrived very healthy. Um, the plants arrive in prestige condition. And I think that the packaging that they use, which is, you know, the mesh paper, like using the papers, um, the shredded papers really helps the plants to not get disturbed while it transits and also really helps the plant to stay in place and you know they don't get wobbly all over around so that's a good thing. Also the good thing about Lighthouse Soya is that the picture that you see is the plant that you're gonna get. So if you, they post a picture of a Hoya uh, Publicalix that's that the hoya in the picture that's the exact plant that you're gonna get so there's no oh my god i thought it was gonna be bigger no 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 that's the hoya that they're post and that's the hoya that you're getting so when i saw these plants i was like okay they're not so expensive and i pick them up because i was okay with the size um as opposed to other nurseries where they put a picture and the description is plant received may look similar to this one that could mean it could be bigger it could be smaller so you're kind of risking it now with a lighthouse hoya you kind of know what you're gonna get because you already see it first hand and um, the price is also really good they are located though in florida i believe so um if you're kind of far from them um and especially with the heat warning that we have in here in the states the plant might arrive a little bit dehydrated mine's arrived a little bit dehydrated but not so much but that's something to take into consideration but um, anyways guys, I, I'm very happy with them. Second time buying from them and I'm very pleased. I probably will continue to purchase from them. Um, they do sell out really quickly though. So you gotta, you know, keep an eye out on their stories because they do updates on when they're gonna do the Hoya sale on their page. So just keep an eye on that and um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it helpful. And if you guys have ordered from Lighthouse Soya in the past, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have not and you guys are planning to, let me know in the comments below as well. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate and subscribe, drink water, water your plants, wear sunscreen. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, the Hoyas I put out of the box. In um, this bucket or this little tray with um, some water, so they're bottom watering it. Um, they didn't have any pests or anything, and that's how they're looking so far. Okay. This is 
a day after I cut the plants. You can see they look very nice and I think they will do pretty good in here. So there's some, the Hoyas, they're looking very nice. I also have other Hoyas in here, like the Hoya Marillii, which I changed the substrate and it seems to be loving it as well. Growing very nice and shiny. Over here I have Hoya Hearts doing really good. Um, and I have other Hoyas in here that are, they're all doing good inside the house. So that's how they're looking so far. And I'm very happy with them all because they look super nice and they're all growing. Even this little vine is growing as well. But the point is that the Hoyas that I got from Lighthouse Hoya are doing fine. They seem to be, you know, getting a lot of water. And actually, I'm going to move them out of here because they seem to be getting lots of water and I might start root rot. That's because of the substrate. It seems to just be in soil. So I will definitely change the substrate of this Hoyas once they get established and grow a little bit more and change them to cocoa husks or um, other sort of medium. But um, for now, they're doing quite nice. And that's what they're looking Okay. They're all doing really good. Also, by the way, I have my Hoya Bella, which is getting ready to grow more flowers for me. And I'm very excited.